Why? 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 Check this out. The creator of the cosmos hanging on the tree. If that's not strange enough, he's asking questions. Jesus asks, why? With everything at his disposal. He doesn't ask for resource. He doesn't ask for relief. He asks for reason. And you're looking at me like I don't know what I'm talking about. But there are many of us who have stumbled into the sanctuary still searching yes, for reason. Yes, sir. For stuff that happened years ago, yet I still find myself hashing through transactional analysis searching for reason. And I know the old saint said we'll understand it better by and by. But when is by and by going to come? Sometimes I feel like I just need to know why. Y'all playing with me like you don't know what I'm talking about. But 6.1 million families that had to bury a loved one who died to COVID stood at a grave site, not being able to have a funeral, even in the sanctuary, and asked the question, why? 92,000 people who lost their homes to foreclosure and now are living in the streets in the middle of a global pandemic are asking the question, why? It ain't just in the pews, it's in the pulpit as well. Statistics say that one-tenth of every pastor that preached this morning has also contemplated suicide in the same day. Even preachers are asking, why? 1,700 pastors who walked out of their pulpits on last year with no opportunity nor mind to go back to the pulpit need to know why. 41,000 patients sitting in MD Anderson trying to find cancer treatment want to know why. 8,700 children inside of St. Jude Hospital battling illness in their childhood when the rest of their class is playing on the playground want to know why. 200 more children waiting for a bed to come open. Their parents want to know why. Why us? Why my baby? What did we do wrong? What did we go wrong? We prayed. We tithed. We went to church. Why us? And you're sitting there with your white on being dignified with me tonight, but you're asking why as well. Why me? Why did they lie on me? Why did they betray me? Why did they turn their backs on me? Why did they walk away from me? Why was it my mama? Why was it my daddy? Why did they corrupt my childhood? There are so many people asking why. Yeah, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Jesus. Hanging on the cross, doesn't ask, doesn't request for relief. He doesn't request for resource. He doesn't request rescue. But he asks for reason. Could it be that what you go through is easier to go through? When you know why you go through what you go through. Could it be that the reason we ask why? I mean, come on, why? He's hanging on the cross, bloody, bruised, battered. And he asks why. Even if God answers What's why going to do? Why won't stitch the wound? Mm, Yeah. In his side. Why won't close the holes in his hands and his feet? Why won't take the crown of 72 thorns off of his head. Yes, what was Jesus uh, really uh, asking for? 
Yes, he was asking for reason, but uh, I believe when he talked to God uh, in his place of despair, not only uh, was he asking for reason, but he was beckoning uh, for a reminder. Yes, obviously Jesus and God had already talked about what was going to happen. Several times in scripture, Jesus had told the boy that I'm going to be betrayed and turned over to criminals. All throughout the scripture, Jesus told them, uh, that he must pay uh, the ransom uh, for humanity's mistakes. Uh, have I got a witness here? Um, what does he mean uh, when he says why? I believe he asked God why so that God uh, could whisper in his ear a reminder of why he was doing what he was doing and I got a witness in and every now and then while we go through our strain every now and then while we go through our struggle all of us need a little whisper in the ear all of us need a little reminder all of us need a talk with God to tell us why we started what we started right there while you're crying you need to hear from God we've been made endure for a night but joy joy show come in the morning every now and then in the middle of your weeping, in the middle of the night, you need to hear from God. Yes, those who sow in tears shall weep in joy. Every now and then, you need a little reminder, a little whisper in your ear. Be not weary in your well-doing. You're gonna weep. If you faint not, every now and then, you need a reminder, yes, to keep walking with God. If you start with him, you'll finish with him. Can I preach to somebody? I know you've been crying in the dark. I know you've been bruised and battered. I know you're going through dark times. But can I minister to you? You gotta lift your voice and talk to your God. Call on him. Yes! Call on him. Yes, sir. Oh, call on him. Yes, help me close. Close my sermon by finding you my neighbor. Answer, neighbor. Y'all ain't doing it, man. I said, help me close. Close my sermon by finding you one neighbor. Grab them by the hand, look them in the face, and say, neighbor, the show look good tonight. But neighbor, if you're anything like me, you might be in the dark this evening. Tell a neighbor, don't worry about the dark. What I'm about to do, keep on talking to them, y'all. Look them in their face and say, neighbor, what I'm about to do is call on God in the dark. You ain't got to worry about it, because when he comes for me, I'm going to bring you with me. Now somebody cry out from where you are. You can't wait, yeah! 
You can't wait till the sun is shining, but right where you are, right in the darkness, call on God. Yeah! Ah, yeah! Somebody call on Jesus. My grandmama told me if Jesus came, fix it. Nobody, nobody can. Somebody call on Jesus. The more I call him, the better I feel. Somebody call on Jesus. He'll heal your body. He'll mend your heart. He'll regulate your mind. Why are you looking at me? Somebody call on Jesus. Say, Jesus, 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 yeah, ah, yeah, come by here. I've been crying too long. I've been hurting too long. I've been hiding my face. Lord, come by here. Come by here. My resources have all run out. My patience has gone with the wind. My endurance is down to nothing. Lord, come by here. I can't take another. Not another disappointment. I can't take another. Not another betrayal. I can't take another. Not another heartache. Lord, come by here. Is there anybody that needs the Lord? Come by here. I wish you'd flag them down. Lord, while on other. Please don't pass me by. Yeah, yeah, ah, yeah. 